Hello, and welcome to our series of videos introducing you to Materials Science Maestro. These videos will demonstrate the basic navigation and function of the graphical user interface, which we will commonly be referring to as MS Maestro. These videos will also highlight key resources available to you in your learning process. Tools for a wide variety of application areas and industries can all be accessed from the single graphical user interface. In this short video series, we will also introduce some of the key builder panels, as well as provide a general overview of tasks and tools for post-processing. Note that an introduction to Materials Science Maestro tutorial is also available, which covers the same content as this video series in written form. Feel free to use the tutorial to follow along or to pause and replay the videos as needed. This tutorial, as well as over 50 others, can be found on the Materials Science training webpage at www.schrodinger.com slash learn slash training slash materials dash science. In this first video, we will demonstrate how to open MS Maestro, set up and save a project and import structures. Let's get started. To begin, you need to launch MS Maestro. Depending on which platform you are using, follow the steps shown here to open the Materials Science interface. You should be aware that the Schrodinger software comes with a bundle of applications. Be sure you are using the Materials Science interface. You can confirm this by checking that the top of the window upon opening reads Maestro Material Science Scratch Project. Pause this video if you need some time opening the software. Before beginning any workflows, let's change your working directory. We recommend that you do this before doing anything else when you open MS Maestro. The working directory is the location where files are saved. Job files will be written to this directory. It is also the directory where file selectors will open by default. Setting your working directory appropriately is a great way to keep different files for different projects organized. Now go to the top left corner to the main menu and click File. Choose Change Working Directory. For demonstration purposes, select your desktop, then click Create a New Folder. Let's name this folder Materials underscore Intro. Then click Choose. In MS Maestro, you can name files however you like. That said, we recommend avoiding spaces in your file names. Use dashes or underscores instead. Now that you've chosen a working directory, you should save your work as a project. Each session in MS Maestro begins with the default scratch project, which is not saved. It is recommended that you save a new project, which will have a .prj extension in your working directory. A project can contain numerous entries corresponding to built or imported structures, as well as the outputs of various modeling tasks. Once a project is created, is automatically saved each time a change is made. To save your session as a project, go back to File from the main menu and choose Save Project As. Let's name this project the same as a working directory, Materials underscore Intro, then click Save. Now in your working directory, you have a project titled Materials underscore Intro .prj. Next, we will import a group of structures to your project. Go to File and choose Import Structures. Navigate to where you downloaded the provided files and click on the Starter Molecules.mae file. Note the many file types are supported for importing, including .pdb, .sif, and .xyz files. Here we are going to import a .mae file, which is the native MS Maestro file type used for storing molecular structure information. Click Open. Once you import the file, Banner will appear at the top of the 3D workspace. This typically happens in MS Maestro when you load a file. The calculation finishes running or to suggest a common next step. For now, close this banner. A new group appears in the entry list titled Starter Molecules 4, which contains four entries. A dimethylpyridine molecule is shown in the workspace. In the next section, we will define these various terms. Entry list, entries, workspace, etc. You should now be comfortable opening MS Maestro, saving your projects, and importing structures. In the next video, 
we'll familiarize ourselves with the key features of the MS Maestro graphical user interface. See you there!